Good day everyone. I am Maloran Asid, a second year student nurse from a North Valley College Foundation Incorporated. So to this video, we will be demonstrating a female catheterization. So first is we have a assessment. So first thing we have to assess is her overall condition, which includes the, her consciousness, her ability to participate in the procedure. And next is to determine, determine when was the last time that our patient was voided or urinated. And then we will assess a external female genitalia for redness and is kind of skin breakdown and even the discomfort of the patient and also to assess for any discharge drainage and tenderness from any localized area and next is we have a planning so it is our responsibility to always verify that to always verify the physician's order before a conduct your procedure and then we will prepare our patient and our materials so as far as you can see i don't have a real patient but ideally the position of the patient is at the supine and with their legs extended and slightly abducted and the rationale for that position is to have an easy access for the urethral meatus and to successfully perform a catheterization so next is we will introduce ourselves to the patient and identify their name their identity and explain the procedure so good day mom i am malarin alsid your student nurse for today so may i know your name po and Okay, thank you, ma'am. And you can also see the wristband to validate. So, after introducing yourself to the patient and identifying their identity by stating their name and then explain the procedure and why it is necessary for them to cooperate. And because the physicians ordered a catheterization and our patient's urinary bladder is distended or there's a need to obtain a urine specimen so next is we will provide a privacy for our patient by by drawing our curtains closing the door and by draping them exposing only the female genitals so to formally start with the procedure, we will perform hand hygiene. <coughs> so to start with the procedure, we will wear our sterile gloves. So this area around one inch has, is not contaminated. So we will finish the right gloves for our non-dominant uh, for our dominant hand. And next is for our non-dominant hand. So I will dispose it here at the exterior field. And next thing that we do is to drape our patient under the buttocks of our patient making sure you're not touching anything and also to drape and exposing only the genitalia the female genitalia so after that we will proceed to the cleansing of the meatus so we, we will use our cotton ball 
with our dominant hand and with our non-dominant hand we will use it to spread the labia so the technique for that is the farthest to nearest so we'll, we'll first clean the the left side from top to bottom and to the other side top to bottom oh no and at the middle from top to bottom then after that cleansing the meatus so we will proceed to the Only another set of gloves. This post. And I just want to mention that the size of the catheter is 12 to 13. 12 to 14 for a female and the length of the insertion is 3 to 4 inches so i will start it by holding a catheter so ideally that tip of the catheter should should have a lubricant but i don't have one so let's just say that i already did so with our non-dominant hand we will use it to spread the labia to expose the urethra and properly insert the catheter in the urethra so in this insertion it is the time to tell our patient to take a deep breath so mom can you take a deep breath po? okay thank you you're good all right so after inserting three to four inches and if you observe a urine flow, so that's the so that's the time you will further more advance around one to two inches to properly anchor the balloon. And we will now be inflating the balloon with our ten ml. Hey, it's going out. So I will hold it so that it will not move. So after that is you will feel a resistance and the catheter doesn't come out. So that means that the balloon is already anchored at the bladder. So now that we have successfully inserted the catheter in the urinary bladder of our patient, so now next is we will place our collection bag at the below the hip to prevent the ascending back flow and also we'll make sure to tape the tube at the inner thigh at the inner thigh to prevent a tension or pressure of the urethra so we will place it under the under below the hip at the bed frame not at the bed rail because at the bed the bed rail tends to move so we will tape it here at the inner thigh because at the inner thigh it is less mobile and it is comfortable for the patient then after that 
we will remove the drapes. Our pads and also my gloves. And after that is we will we will assess our patient at the comfortable position and also by draping them and covering the genitals. And next is we will be documenting the catheter procedure that includes the date and time, the client's reaction, the characteristic, and also the amount of urine. And that ends our video for a female catheterization. So, good day again. This is now our meal catheterization. So, catheterization is a process to, to drain a urine from the bladder to, by placing a tube that is called a catheter from urethra to, to the urethra to the bladder and, and it can... It is usually used when people have a difficulty in being or urinating naturally. And it can also be used to empty the bladder before or after a surgery to, to help perform a certain test. So, so first is we have the assessment. So we have to assess is his overall condition includes the consciousness the and her and his ability to participate in the procedure and also we have to determine when was the last time that our patient has voided has voided or urinated and also to assess is her is any kind of drainage and discharge or and tenderness from any localized area and also we have to ask if the our patient has an allergy and then we have a planning so it is our responsibility to always verify that the physicians the physician order to to before a any conducted procedure and then we will prepare our patient and a material so as far as you can see i don't have a real patient but ideally the position of the patient should be at the so point and with their legs extended and slightly adapted and the rationale for that position is to have an easy access for the urethral meatus and and to have a success fully perform a catheterization and then we will introduce ourselves to the patient identifying their identity by letting them state their name and then explain their procedure and why it is necessary for them to cooperate and because the physician ordered a catheterization and also, the patient's bladder has this ten is the standard or there's a need to obtain a urine specimen. And then we will provide a privacy by drawing the curtains, closing the door, and by draping them, exposing only the genitals. And then to formally start with the procedure, we will perform hand hygiene.
So to start with the procedure, we'll, we will wear our sterile gloves. To maintain sterility. So for our dominant hand. And for our non-dominant hand. Then after that, we'll pinch it at the needle and expose it here at the exterior field. And after wearing our gloves, we'll make sure we are not touching anything. And next thing we will do is to drape our patient. So under the buttocks of our patient. And then we will drape our patient exposing only a male genitalia. And after that, we will proceed in cleansing the meatus. So we will use a cotton ball and to 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 I uh, know to prevent or to decrease the, the introducing of a organism. So to cleanse the meatus, we will. Our non-dominant hand, we will place it to to the penis in the in a upright position, perpendicular to 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 have a a uh, and is catheter insertion so in our non-dominant hand we will use it to we will place it at a penis and our dominant hand we will use it to grab a cotton ball so in cleansing the meatus we will have a circular motion so another circular motion and another cotton ball and after that I will remove my gloves and Put another set of sterile gloves to maintain sterility for our first is for our dominant hand and next is for our non-dominant hand. And after that, I will dispose it here at the exterior field and I will to start with the insertion, I will start at holding a catheter. So, ideally, the, the tip of the catheter should be added with lubricant. But since I don't have one, so let's just say I already did. So, with our non-dominant hand, we will use it to... We will place it at the penis to expose the urethra in a perpendicular position to expose the urethra and to properly insert the catheter in the urethra. So in this insertion, it is the time to tell our patient to inhale and exhale. And moms, I sir, can you please take a deep breath? Well, for me and that's the time we will insert the catheter okay thank you so after inserting around three to four inches so you will observe a urine flow so that's the time that we will further more advance around two around 
1 to 2 inches to properly anchor the balloon. And after that, we will inflate our 10 ml. After inflating, you will feel a resistance and the with the balloon and the catheter doesn't come out or move. So, it means that the balloon is already anchored to the bladder. And now, we have successfully inserted a catheter. So, we'll now place our collection bag below the hip to prevent a to prevent a ascending back back flow and also to tape the tube at the inner side to prevent the tension of the urethra then so we will place it here below the hip at the bed frame not at the bed rail because the bed rail tends to move then after that, we will tape it here. We will tape at the inner side. Because the inner side, it is less mobile. It is easier for the patient. It is comfortable for them. And next is, I will be removing my gloves. I, I will first remove the drapes. Remove the drapes. And the pads and my glove. And after that, we will assess our patient in a comfortable position by draping them and cover them with a covered genitals. And and after that, we will be documenting the uh, catheter procedure in this the. Uh, Includes the date and time, the catheter size, the client's reaction, and also the amount of urine. So after that, we will be removing the catheter. So, sir, you just got an order for a removal of the catheter. So, we will just remove that. So, we will just need our sterile gloves and our 10 ml scissors. So, I will first. So we will actually first drape them. Um, so, and first we will undrape them and we will be needing our syringe so we will take the tape at the at the heel I know so we will just pinch it here we will pinch the tube a little bit here in case the urine comes out as well so sir take a deep breath for me so we will we will get out of the tea so we will take out as much water as you put in Okay, thank you. And sir, take a deep breath for me. 
Okay. Thank you. And then, so the cutter, we get, they, we take out the cutter after that. We will get the patient cleaned up again. And then, after that, we will date them and and also. So after that, we will record the we will record the catheterization, the amount of urine, and the uh, description of the urine. And after and uh, the uh, patient's reaction with our procedure, and make sure that our patient has voided uh, after the catheterization that our patient has voided a four at the four to six hours if unable we will refer out to the CIR to nurse on duty and that's our and that is our female and male catheterization thank you